Discretion is advised. got a lot to thank God about as we celebrate the birthday of the greatest nation in the world. This country's faced many foes and many challenges, and we've always prevailed. Well, as we celebrate the 4th tonight, all right, there's a war going on in the streets of America, a war on drugs and the slime that smuggles them in and the low lives that sell them to our kids. And now there's a group in this country that says, hey, let's legalize all the drugs, make them as American as apple pie, and how even Uncle Sam is probably a drug dealer. Join us. Just let me give you a little background, because this show's liable to get a little rough tonight, all right? Liable to get a little rough as we go on. I'd like everyone to give everyone a chance to say their piece tonight. I'm not going to step over anyone's lines. I'm going to let you say your piece, all right? We're going to talk to a man who could be snorting cocaine in the Oval Office. Stay with us. Transportation for the Morton Downey Jr. Show. Let me, let me introduce a new guest at home base. Uh, we're going to talk with uh, former Congressman Ron Paul at uh, Loudmouth Number 2. We have, of course, Lisa Sliwa, one of the co-founders of the Guardian Manager. <laughs> Congressman Paul, you're, I should say, Ron, you're running for the presidency of the United States now. Tell me on this 4th of July, how can... Cool it, will you please? How can you call for something that I think is un-American, the legalization of drugs in this country. Because I detest the use of drugs, and I think we would have a lot less drugs used if they were legal. I think it's part of the American system to let people make freedom of choices. We let them read literature and pick and choose what they should read and study. We let them pick which religion they want to follow, very important subjects. So we let people in a free society make their decisions on what's best for their body. We think that smoking well, sometimes... Oh, wait, wait a second. Lisa, I'll, Lisa, I'll, Lisa, I'll, I'll let you jump in. Lisa, Lisa, let me finish this. So we believe, we believe that individuals in a free society can make choices about their own personal habits. We believe they can eat what they want. Sometimes Have you they always felt this way? Yes, I all well. Even when you you weren't a libertarian congressman, you're yes, running as I a libertarian. Yes, I was a libertarian now. congressman. I uh, have always. I wouldn't say that when I was 22, I endorsed all the same views. But Were you a the, Democrat or a Republican? I was a Republican, but I was a libertarian uh, Republican. I always voted a libertarian voting record. In other so, words, you believe that the government should stay out of our personal business altogether. Yeah, this well, is correct. To be my, Matter of fact, this all right, is, that's good, guys. But, it also but happens but more, to be my personal business if I want to kill my four-year-old kid, right? No, 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 wait a minute, wait, you're, giving, you're giving libertarian a distorted uh, explanation. No, sir, you people gave it to yourselves and your platform. N no, let me explain that. The answer is that we are allowed to do what we want. We even permit people to smoke cigarettes. Happen. That happens to be the most deadly drug in the United States today. Kills 320,000 people. I appreciate and maybe we ought to make I it illegal. I wish you'd ban it. I wish you'd ban it. Sure. If you would, then sir, you I'd put it out it in your eye right now. You can buy it out on the street and pay $5 a package. No, in a free society, we are allowed to make these choices. We can't protect us from ourselves, but there is a strict line that libertarians draw, and that is that you can't step over the bounds and injure somebody else. And this is what the drug laws are doing. They're overstepping the bounds. Just the other day, they walked into somebody's house. They suspected he was a drug dealer. He was using his automatic selector, and the police marched in, and they said, it looked like a gun after they killed the man. In America! Is that what America's all about? I'd say no. We want privacy. We want due process of the law. Just a that few is days not ago, America. just a few days ago, one of this young lady's people was almost killed, all right? Well, her and attitude this show was like being she incited hot killing. Let me killed. tell you, 
because of your type of demented thinking. No, because I defend the Constitution. No, let me tell you. How can I take anyone seriously who looks like... Your war on drugs is. Because Mark, Mark. The guy Mark. looks like he just came from Emmett Kelly's funeral. You're avoiding the issue when you attack his clothes. Stick to the issue. Right. The, the issue is drugs and stick freedom. Stick to the issue, Listen, pal. Mr. The issue is freedom. If I had a slime like you in the White House, I'd puke on you. Oh, yeah. You people who support the laws are the greatest protector of the drug dealer. The drug dealer under our you system are the protector is all the drug dealers because you give them the business. We don't. If you want to put the drug dealer out of business overnight, it's legalized drugs. There's no drug dealer. Right. Right. There are no drug dealers. Right. 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 Why don't we have prohibition of alcohol? Right. Who's for prohibition of alcohol well, in this room? Kidding? Who's for prohibition of alcohol? Can I ask a oh, question? Three people. Can I ask a question? Can I ask no, a question? No, you're only three no I want to go to Congressman Rangel for just a second. Congressman, you've had an opportunity to be on the phone hearing this. As an elected official, what would you say to this man who would be president? Well, I, I don't believe he's serious. At least that position got him on your show, which is far more publicity than he's probably gotten before. But um, it just seems to me that it's just to talk about it would be an immoral surrender to the drug laws. It cannot work. It is not going to work. And we will be surrendering before we even fought a battle. Okay. That's right. That's right. That's right. We have not just begun to fight. We oh, have not really waged a war. This man should only be president. The laws protect the CIA to run the illegal war. That's what they're doing. All the crime in the world, the terrorist nations, they depend on the profits of drugs. $500 billion a year. There's more money, listen to this, there's more money spent on illegal drugs than on food in the world. If you care about people, let them spend the money on food, not on drugs. Drugs are worthless. They're totally worthless. Are you telling me that it's a person's own choice to use drugs? It's a personal tyranny. Yeah, people with, Let me ask people you something. Like Wait a minute. There's a the difference religion. between drugs and religion. All those drugs are religion to somebody. Religion. How do they make a choice when their mind is screwed up and you mention the Constitution? How do they defend their Constitution if they got bubbles Where do you buy the drugs the Constitution? Why didn't they have a drug law until 1914? Why? Tell me. Because Where do you buy? Why? Why didn't they have a drug law? Did you ever hear George Washington? Because it took more long to find out the problems we were having Tell me where Thomas Jefferson had a drug law. Show me. Where were the drug laws you know what? during the 19th century? There were also no speeding laws they? for cars. We there didn't have the problem. Cars, right. right. Hey. We didn't have the problem. The cars. Cars. We didn't have the problem. You're talking okay. about people's freedoms, right? You're talking about people's freedoms. Listen, the only thing you, you could be president of is Disneyland because you are in another world. You don't make any sense. All right. Let me, let me come back to the libertarian candidate for president of the United States, former Congressman Ron Paul. Ron, what's wrong with taking away some drug dealers, drug dealers now, notice I'm saying, yacht or limousine when drugs are found aboard? I mean, I happen to like zero tolerance. Well, zero tolerance has been real good for our movement, too. Finally, the people got sped up and realized that zero tolerance was total destruction of privacy in the Constitution. So we're delighted with it. This is now the, the mayor of uh, Baltimore and the mayor of Washington now has come out and said, you know, maybe we better look at the libertarian alternative. They say, maybe the drug laws aren't working. Maybe we should look for freedom and liberty as an explanation on letting the responsibility go back to the individual to make decisions about eating habits, sexual habits, well, smoking car habits. Car oh, hush. Probably really got yeah. beautiful cars. You know, we tried but that in the, the 60s, and that's yeah, what Yeah, well, you don't understand what freedom today. is all about. No, and you freedom don't understand works about, about the streets. Yeah. I can tell you about what oh, goes on Oh, we all on know the about the streets. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I yeah. can yeah. tell. Yeah. That's right. The drug laws yeah. created yeah. the streets. Before you were born, we knew about the streets. People like you create the problem. The streets, you're the problem. You're the problem. Before you were born. Joe, too bad you did the... Second, Lisa, let me ask Joe, do you have any problem with revoking driver's licenses of drug loot u uh, users or searching a house given probable cause? I have no problem with that. I have no problem and with taking their too? liberty away because they've given it. Them? I have no problem... And shooting them? If they when shoot they don't it, have drugs? If they because shoot they made a mistake? If they shoot at me, my friend, because they're 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 mine, I'll tell you that right well, now. Well, they'll be in and check on you and your religion and call it a cult. You come right ahead, my friend, and check on me. They'll call it a cult. I'll stand a better check than you will, you stupid idiot, you. You know, I love, 
I love the thinking machine called the liberal brain. No guns. Guns are terrible. Defense against no, guns, we'll all right? Who do we read in the paper? Shot a guy, Carl Rowan. Carl Rowan, who's been on, saying no one should have guns. Put the money where the loud mouths are. Yeah. Let's put oh, the money where the loud mouths are. Wait a minute, you got your piece. Can no, I are you from the Hells Angels? No. Yes. Where are you from? <laughs> you from the Hells Angels? I never heard of it. You sound like the Hells Angels. I guess your brain is too fried okay. by drugs okay. to read. Oh, yeah, good day. I can't wait. Well, well, wouldn't well, it be a wonderful thing for this guy to be president and get into a debate with somebody from Russia? Can you hear this guy screaming? Well, at least I wouldn't be from George Bush and the CIA dealing in drugs. Right, Bo? Unbelievable. Right? Yeah, George Listen. Bush and the CIA dealing in drugs. Wait, it'll be a lot better before, debate. Before we start to legalize drugs, Mort, I would like to at least... legalize freedom. We don't want to legalize drugs. We want to legalize freedom. 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 freedom of choice. Freedom. You want to give it away? Who do you want to surrender to, Peru? Freedom! Freedom, liberty! Let's at least, before we give in to this idea of legalizing drugs, Let's which is going to create war. a oh, war, war. Let's up a let us fight a real war All right. with real truth, Good. Good. make a real Good. commitment, Good. and get these phony Good. hypocrites Good, here they 50% of the people in prisons have to rob in order to get the money to buy the drugs to, let me to keep the CIA gentleman. fighting their illegal let war. Me, let me go to loudmouth number two. Mr. Ostrowski, would you? Go ahead, Colonel. Since we keep going back to Bush and the CIA and the illegal war. You bring it up, Liberal Congress, Mr. President, that caused the existence of Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was you. the Liberal Congress. Hey. That caused all the North to have to go over on an Irish passport. And disobey to try the to get, Constitution to try to is get what he did. And the fact that, uh, that a nut like you can run. You tell the Constitution, I've been screwed in the trash. It's either right, right or it's wrong, and you're oh, wrong. Money. The fact you that a nut like you can run for president shows just right how much freedom we have. And destroyed our Constitution. Matter of fact, he had a plan to rewrite the Constitution. But it won't be for Ron Paul. There were 20,000. Oh, Let me ask you something. Before 1964, and you got this jaboni in the White House, would you go over to Vietnam and serve for him? No, there'd be no Vietnam War if the libertarians are There'd be no nation! There'd be no nation! There'd be no nation! There'd be no money here at home! We'll be back in a second. Get out of here. And I would, I would like to come to the libertarian presidential candidate uh, yes, I, I think we, we deserve a minute on what you indicate. You said if the libertarians in charge, there would be no America. Clearly, let me challenge some of you who may be even leaning toward the conservative philosophy. Ask me why we still finance the communists. Ask me why 70% of the military budget is spent overseas. Ask me why the good airplanes are overseas and the lousy airplanes are not here in the, the lousy airplanes are in the Air National Guard. I would say clean out the State Department, spend more money on our national defense, have an anti-communist uh, uh, policy. Don't sign these treaties with the Soviet. Don't extend loans to the Soviet Union. No, and not, not to fight Do these I wars with the funds we raise from the illegal drugs. So under the libertarian society, no, we don't fight Vietnam wars. We don't fight the Korean wars. We fight wars to defend we America. And we stand for America. We stand for We get high. Well, you know, you are, you are, excuse me. Yes, yes, we, we get high. We get high, Mark. We get high on the ideas you of freedom. We get high because freedom and liberty is worth it. Let's say no. Let's say no. Let's say no. No, assume the responsibility of yourself. Don't assume the government makes your decision. You say no. Don't send the government to us. You say no. You have the courage to do it. I, I think that I detect. Really? His voice changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. his cojones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, no one else in the United States is giving us a hand. On is a tyrannical approach to solving a social medical problem, and we endorse the idea of volunteerism and self-responsibility, family, friends, and churches to solve problems, rather than saying some monolithic government is going to make you 
take care of yourself and be a better person. It's a preposterous notion. It never works. I'm it never will. To, I, the government can't that, make I'm you sorry. a better person. It can't make you follow good habits. Why don't they put you on a diet? You're a little overweight. And I think you'd be in better health. You're a little overweight. 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 You're a little overweight.